hey guys it is back to school which means it is back to school shopping time one thing that i'm exceptionally exceptionally good at so um here are a few things that i've got for going back to school which you may or may not find very useful but i think are pretty awesome i am in love with this notepad it is you know just your standard notepad but with added colouring in. So you get to colour in, design their, their own covers and the best thing is because I know you guys like doodling class and like there are all good things to doodling. It does keep your mind active. Look, on every single page there's a little doodle bar. So, oh, I feel really bad saying this but you can get away with doodling because it's going to be really hard for your teachers to tell when you've done it or whether you haven't done it, whether it's like something you've done previously. And as always, it stops you from drawing on the desk, which is a good thing. So if you're going to go and buy a notepad for back to school, especially school up at A level or subjects where you have to do a lot of writing, a lot of um, like preparing or planning, I love this one. I am a massive fan of these pens that have loads and loads of different colours in because it makes it really, really easy for you to switch colours, changing things up so you can highlight things when you're making your notes. I came across this the other day. I am so excited. Three pens and a pencil as well. This is like an absolute game changer. I can't believe they didn't think of this before. So. Maths is going to be fantastic for, chemistry is going to be fantastic for anything where you have to do writing and drawing or things like graphs um, diagrams that you have to do in pencil which I know that you have the tendency to do in pen, I know. This is absolutely amazing and these ones are amazing as well and they're much prettier. Tape. I know you are going to get loads and loads and loads of exercise books which are going to be kind of like all A4 and they're all going to be the same colour and you're going to put them in your locker or your bag and then you're going to get really confused which ones which you're going to pull the wrong out and you're going to turn up to class with the wrong exercise book. Colour code them with tape. So just along the binding just put a bit of tape on. Um, obviously different ones for different subjects or different like teachers and then it's going to make it much much easier for you to work out which book is which. Post-it notes. Now I'm a massive, massive fan of post-it notes. You can see my massive pile of them over here in the background. I will admit I probably have too many post-it notes so I didn't need to go and buy more post-it notes but these ones are really cute. Um, and they're great for highlighting bits in textbooks. So you're just kind of like, this is the page where the questions are for homework. Just saving teeny tiny little bits of time. Awesome post-it notes. Flashcards. I am a massive, massive fan of flashcards. Now, you can go and get your own, um, you can cut up bits of paper, you can go and download some of the loads and loads, massive, massive loads of post-it notes, um, flashcards that I have made for you already um, over on my website. Or you can get a, an app on your phone, which you can do, like, make your own flashcards on and then just sit there flicking through them. That way you can do that, like, on the bath um, and nobody really knows that you're studying. But flashcards are excellent for all of your recall stuff and there is so much stuff you have to recall at the moment. Awesome notebooks. Um, notebooks are really good. I like them for making lists in things that um, like videos I've got to make. I just go through and cross them all off. Um, stuff that I have to do and this is my personal favourite because it's an awesome chemistry one um, but it's really really good just to have somewhere to write all your ideas down to write your thoughts down kind of like to logically order all the stuff that you have to do over a weekend or a month or in preparation for a big project notebooks I know your school is probably going to give you a planner but I am not necessarily a fan of those. I like this planner because um, of the way everything is laid out. I'm trying to find a page that my toddler has drawn on. So it has everything my day and then list to do, things to delegate to other people, teamwork, goals and projects. So everything that you have in a day and stuff to do. So getting yourself a decent diary, even though I know the school might give you like your free planner or you might have um, like show my homework to do everything. Just having things laid down clearly in front of you, I find is really, really useful. And then obviously your nice revision guides. Now, I'm in two minds about revision guides and workbooks. 
um, because you shouldn't need to buy a revision guide. Everything that your teacher tells you in class, all the videos that I make, everything on the internet should do your revision guide. But I think workbooks are really, really, really useful. Stuff that has loads and loads of questions in there for you to practice is going to be absolutely essential. Now, don't feel you have to go and spend a load of money on workbooks because like my friends in the old years who um, just don't need them anymore. Also, I'm going to be producing loads and loads and loads of stuff for you. Um, so there you go, guys. That's my pick of uh, back to school shopping. Um, I hope you enjoyed it because I do quite like shopping. So this is a good video for me to make.